Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and today I'm gonna to do a reaction video for you. Uh, today I am reacting to a channel um, called Knock Knock, and um, I've never seen this channel before, but I did see that there are um, people that are reacting to this video. Um, this video is only two weeks old, and it's called Things uh, Only Americans Think Are Normal. So I thought this would be really interesting to do, seeing as I am American, and I can talk about the things maybe that um, they're going to talk about. But um, by the way, this is Samara, and she's probably only going to stay here for as long as I hold her. <laughs> yep, here we go. So I'm going to try to put her on my lap. And there she goes. <laughs> she does what she wants. Before I get started on the video, I wanted to talk about a couple of things really quick. The first one is I just want to remind you I have memberships open. So um, if you're interested in supporting my channel, it's only $4.99 a month. Also, I have a Discord, which is free, and it's linked below. And a wish list if you also want to um, help, help support me in any other way. Uh, so those are all linked below. Um, the, but the thing that I wanted to discuss before I get started on this is sometimes I, it's, it doesn't happen a ton to me, but sometimes people in my comments will say a lot of, uh, nasty things towards my country or me, or they might say, well, our country is better than yours because da 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 that's not the kind of attitude that I want to have on my channel because I'm not looking at it as there's one country or place better than another. Every country has their own great amazing things and there are things that they need to work on. So I just want to say I don't I don't like the comments that that are that say that type of thing. I also wanted to say like um, if an American visits another country and then comes back and makes a video and says oh, that was so much better than here in America. That's their opinion and their perspective on things. And maybe not everyone will share that opinion. You know, I personally take everything uh, with a grain of salt when I do these videos and completely understand that these are th their opinions. And if I were there and I were doing whatever they're doing, I might have my own, or I, I would have my own opinion and it may not, add up to their opinion so i'm just reminding everybody there's no country that's better than another country there's you know there's no people that are better than other people there's no food that's like better than other food because everybody has their own opinions so i just wanted to remind everybody of that um i'm not the kind of channel that uh sits there and wants trolls and uh I i'm not sitting there wanting clicks and views for um spreading whatever i i just i'm just doing my own thing and i don't want to be accused of anything because i've recently gotten accused of you know trying to piggyback off of other channels to like make my channel grow or whatever it's just not i mean yeah i want my channel to grow and i want my channel to do well but i'm not like using other people to do that this is a completely legal thing to do to react to other channels and to transform their videos by me doing commentary on it and showing my face at the same time as their video you know what i mean so um this is my own creation and not only that there are some people who have only come here uh for my reactions and they don't realize that first i didn't start out as a reaction channel um i started out as a vlogger and i am still a vlogger i still post vlogs at least once a week so I'm just saying, I do other things on my channel. But anyway, I just wanted to get all of that out there and just say it. I know I don't have to say it. You know, I know that the only thing that's important is the people that are kind to me and, you know, nice on my channel. And most of you are. Most of you are so amazing. Uh, it's just once in a while I get these stupid comments that make me really frustrated. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to talk about is the comments about uh, my cats. I don't get them very often, but um, mostly I get really super sweet comments about my cats and you all love my cats and I love my cats. Um, but once in a while, I got one a couple days ago um, saying that they said something about 
not liking my cats in the videos. Um, something nasty about it. I can't even remember now what exactly they said because it doesn't matter to me. But I'm just saying my cats and my animals are always in my videos. They're always going to be in my videos. So I'm not using them for my videos. They just pop in and pop out whenever they want to. I don't force them to do anything. They just live here with me. I live here and guess what? You don't live here. So my cats will be in my videos. If you don't like it, that's okay. You can still watch my video. You can still leave a comment. You can still hit like or dislike, but whatever you do, you're engaging and helping my channel, whether you like my cats or not. So, all right, now that that's over with, let's get this started. Okay, so things only Americans think are normal. Here we go. Big glasses of water with ice at restaurants. I live in Texas usually, and I drink ice water like 24 seven. It's a good habit here, especially in summer. Well, Texas is always very hot. Uh, well, I mean, the Southern half of it is. When I was in Europe, I would get the smallest glasses of lukewarm water uh, that I had to ask for more every 10 seconds. I felt annoying. Aren't y'all thirsty or am I missing something? Um, I mean, yeah, a lot of Americans like a lot of ice in their stuff. Um, and a lot of them don't, but restaurants here automatically just fill your cup all the way up with ice and then put, you know, and give everybody that. And then you end up with like very little drink because there's so much ice, which I personally hate. Every time I go to a restaurant um, and I order my Diet Coke, I say Diet Coke, no ice. That's how I order um, because I don't like having like 90% ice and water and 10% of what I ordered. So you could ask for no ice. It's not even a big deal. But yes, they do put ice in everything and I do. I don't, I, I highly doubt that she got lukewarm water when she went to a, a restaurant, in, where would she say it was, in Europe. Um, I mean, maybe at the place that she went, but I'm pretty sure they're like, they're giving you like at least tap cold water, you know what I mean? Maybe not like ice cold, but tap cold. I don't know. Greek life in college, fraternities, sororities. Explaining this concept whenever I'm abroad made me realize how bizarre it is. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really thought about that or realized that. I didn't know that America is the only country that does that. I mean, is America the only country that does that? Like, if you live somewhere else, do you guys have fraternities and sororities? Because it's just like, like the title says, it, it is a, just a normal way of life. I mean, not a normal way of life for everybody, but it for some people. I wasn't in a sorority. Um, none of my, like, family members were in sororities. We aren't that kind of family um, or fraternities. Um, but many people are. I just didn't realize that there weren't other countries that also do that non-necessary non-religious uh, circumcision what y'all don't circumcise your boys like no one else does that just america like that's doctors say they do it because it's I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. It it makes things neater and cleaner and um, helps with, I'm trying to put this in a way that's like not gross, helps with um, keeping it sanitary, you know? Um, that's what I was told about it. Being concerned when anyone at, uh, anyone speaks a language you can't understand. Listen, I honestly don't know why I have these headphones on. There's just like, 
music that it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, being concerned when anyone speaks a language you can't understand. I live in India and we have 28 languages here with multiple dialects of each language. 20, edit 22 languages. Um, I don't know about being concerned when somebody doesn't speak English. I, I've never come across anyone that was like concerned. That's a weird way to put it. Um, also, I don't know if anyone knows this, but America doesn't even have a national language. Like English is not our national language. We don't have one. We have so many different languages and, um, you know, it, and all of that here in America, so many different people that speak different languages. I would say yes, we, the majority of America does speak English, but I don't think anyone like gets super concerned about anything unless they're the only two there and one is speaking English and one is speaking something else and they can't help each other out because nobody understands each other. That would be the only reason. But in like in a professional setting, um, in America, most places like hospitals and police stations and, you know, places like that, they're going to, um, they're going to have somebody hired for them that speaks the language that you need. And then you can call the person and they can come and speak to the person if they need to. Uh, like at my doctor's office, there's a sign right by, like when you walk up to the desk and it has like tons of different languages on it. And it basically says, if you speak any of these languages, we can help you let us know. And like, so that's all I'm saying. Like, no, I don't know. I've never seen anyone freak out or get super concerned or anything like that. Plus she's he or she said they're from India and we have a lot of Indians here. So, it, or at least, I mean, I'm talking about just my, my town and my town. So if you, if you speak that language, um, then that's not even a problem in my town because there's an entire section of my town that's just Indians, so. A flag in every corner of a classroom and Americans being very patriotic to the stars and stripes. Other countries barely give a poop about their flags. Okay, so there's not a flag in every corner of the classroom. That's ridiculous. Um, Americans are very patriotic to the stars and stripes. Yes, we are. Yes, I realize that other countries do not put their flags out as much as Americans do. It doesn't mean that we are more pa patriotic. Um, that's not why we do the, f the flag stuff. The real reason is the real story behind the flag and why we, um, why we care about it so much. And there are videos out there on YouTube that you guys can watch uh, to learn about the flag and why it is so important to Americans. So feel free to watch uh, one of those videos about our American flag and why we care, um, if you don't know. Um, but basically, if you're if this statement is like being said in like a negative way, then you're very ignorant and you can learn about that if you want to. American accents. I mean, everyone thinks their own accent is normal, but I've met Americans who think that they have no accent, like theirs is the baseline somehow. Um, the, the Americans that say this are usually the Americans that live in the Midwest or the western half of the United States because they have less accent because the eastern half of the United States was colonized first and they they've been there longer and they have a stronger I guess tie to those accents forming and all of that um and I guess a lot of Americans will say oh we have no accent and I think it's I don't know I don't know I feel like I have no accent too, but I know that I do to somebody else. You know what I mean? I think that the, we, and, it, and I, we do kind of feel like this is our baseline because this is what we hear all the time because we are in our area all the time. 
So I don't think that anyone means it in like a stupid, ignorant, uh, rude way. I just think that uh, we think that because that's all we hear is our own and when we're in our own area, you know what I mean? But also, uh, when y'all sing, like um, when a British person sings, an Australian person sings, a New Zealand person sings, whoever, um, y'all sing and lose your accent and you become the baseline. I'm just saying, your accent becomes our baseline because you sound very American when you sing. And I think it's a lot to do with uh, training and singing and how you say your vowels and all that sort of thing when you're singing. So it's like, it's very technical, but I'm just saying, you guys sound American when you sing. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh God. Attack ads against political oppo opponents, ads for law firms, for lawyers. Wait, what? These kinds of ads are illegal and considered unethical in our country. Also expecting a teenager to be out of the house by the time they're 18. What? I live in Southeast Asia. There's no stigma about living with one's parents. Most of the time there will be three generations living in one house. I do know that that's nor normal in Asian uh, culture. Um, but, uh, there is no expectation that uh, your child has to leave when they turn 18. I don't know why other people think that that's like a forced thing here or like a, uh, I don't know. I don't know what people think, but not everybody leaves when they're 18, you know, like I left when I was 19. My daughter left when she was 19. Um, people will leave in their twenties. Uh, and there's all kinds of people all around the U S that are in their twenties and maybe even thirties living with their parents. You know, it's, it is a weird thing when you see a 30 year old living with their parents, we do look at that and think that's weird. Um, but it's, there's no, like, you have to be out because you're 18. You, a lot of parents are like, you can stay here as long as you want. And, you know, I personally wanted my daughter to stay longer, but she wanted to get an apartment with her boyfriend. So she did, um, attack ads against political opponents. I don't see that as a normal thing. I see that as a ridiculous, stupid thing that needs to stop. It's childish ads for law firms or lawyers. Now here's, here is what I'm really confused about. Why is this weird? And why is that illegal and unethical? People need to know, like, uh, what are what are good lawyers? You know, just like you need to know a good place to go to get a certain things, so you look at an ad for it or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, we have lawyer commercials. <laughs> I, I grew up with watching them. I I do think they're very normal. It's just an ad. It's not. That's all it is. They're just like advertising themselves. I'm going to say something positive. I live in Southern Italy, but I go all around the state and the most fun and genuine tourist I've met were all American. Didn't meet a single entitled one. That's amazing. I love that. Um, and I've heard from Americans. I've heard from non-Americans that Americans are very friendly and me being an American, um, I can, I can tell you from my perspective, Americans are very friendly. You will always run into someone who is not friendly. It doesn't matter where you are, but, um, I would say for the most part, Americans are always willing to help somebody if they have a question or they need help with something. Having second mortgages on a house, taking massive loans, they can't possibly pay off and buying stuff with it that decreases in value over time, such as cars. Yeah. I mean. It's just the way of life here. It's, that's just how it is. If you saw like what our medical bills are like and, um, and all the, all the money that we have to pay for stuff and the little bit of money that we earn at work and how much groceries are costing and, and all this, many people cannot live without getting a loan or using a credit card or um, taking second mortgages. 
Mandatory drug test from an employer. I've asked around, don't know a single fellow Canadian who has had to do one, cops included. Um, so yes, uh, I have never had to do one at in any of the jobs I have worked at. Um, but uh, there's some that have that rule just to have it, but there are others who have that rule for a very good reason. And it has to do with like, uh, maybe they are a semi driver, a semi truck driver, and you don't want them to be stoned and driving um, your products to another state to deliver them. If you have a doctor needing to help you, you don't want them high on anything. If you have a cop trying to help you, you don't want them high on anything. You know what I mean? Like it's, you don't want anyone completely messed up in the mind um, at very, very important jobs. So that is why certain jobs, it's mandatory, but it's not mandatory for all jobs. Lemonade. I think they, they mean I'm American. I'm American, but there was a post going around a while back about an, an American who ordered a lemonade at a restaurant in Australia and was confused to receive a Sprite the OP original poster of the post was the server and thought it was just the American being snooty for being confused. Then commenters from the other nine US countries chimed in on what a lemonade is to them. It blew my mind because in the US, lemonade is so iconic as a summer drink. It really is. Lemonade is, everybody loves lemonade in the summer. I'm not really a lemonade girl. I like it maybe once a year. <laughs> I don't know. I, I probably haven't even had any in years. I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I probably haven't had any in years. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but yeah. And it is often homemade. Yes, it is often homemade. Um, lemonade is not water with lemon in it. It requires sugar and preparation. This is true. Um, but there are different kinds of lemonades. So not all lemonades are the same. I'm and I'll just leave it at that. They're all different. Extra large bottomless cups for cola or soft drinks. You could bathe in those. <laughs> yeah, we do. Ha we have restaurants that give you really, really huge cups. That's true. Not all of them do. And actually some are now getting rid of the really super ridiculous large ones. Like our McDonald's got rid of the really big, large, large cups. Um, I was personally bummed about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, not everybody has the super, super large cups though, but yeah, some do. And you don't have to get the large either. I mean, you can order a small. Say, I'll just have water at a restaurant and not be charged for it or be asked what kind. I think, I think that's because in other places they give you, you normally get sparkling water or you can have the choice between sparkling water and what do you call it? Still water? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's sparkling water people drink here, but it's not like, a, it's not um, common. It's just not common. Suing for any possible reason. It's so common there that there are commercials on TV and radio telling you to sue X company for reason. Lawyer ads are also very common because of this. Um, Yeah, I see ads telling you to sue for certain things. That is a common thing. And most of us ignore it. We don't read it or look at it. Um, suing for any possible reason. I would say that is only common among crazy people that are just suing for any possible reason. I think that the majority of people have very legit reasons to sue people, honestly. That reminds me, um, if anybody knows from other countries about the, the woman who sued McDonald's because of um, her hot coffee spilling on her, uh, and a lot of people don't know the real story behind it and they think that she was just out of her mind for suing them. But if you know the true story behind it, uh, they deserve to get sued uh, because she had so many burns all over her body. She had to get surgeries. It was scalding hot coffee all over her. So she sued McDonald's for that. And it's good that she did.
putting your country's flag everywhere and on everything we've already talked about that flagpole on your porch or car bumper sticker may be somewhat understandable but it gets really weird when it starts popping up on baseball caps <clears throat> what swimsuits or underwear <laughs> i'm in australia and americans are the only ones who do this uh yes with the american flag even all the way out here um okay so i'm just gonna say this when it comes to clothing uh there are yes there is a lot of clothing that have our american flag on it and i would say half the people who buy that stuff um are buying it for the flag and the other half are not they, they just want the shirt or like the shirt or like the pants or whatever um and if we already own that stuff and we go on a trip somewhere we're gonna need to bring our clothes with us and if the clothes that we like just so happen to have the american flag on it then that's that's the way it is they're wearing the american flag on their shirt while they're in australia and i don't think that they're thinking about it either honestly i wouldn't be i would just be putting on my shirt and i would not be thinking at all about that i'm wearing an american flag in another country it wouldn't even cross my mind because our flag is so everywhere that we like tune it out i think we're we're so used to seeing it everywhere so we don't i don't think we notice it as much as everybody else tv ads for uh drugs against opioid induced constipation it's apparently common for americans to take so many opioids that they get constipated talk about dystopia i've, I've never i've never seen that like that I, I think they're i don't know what they're talking about the plot of breaking bad being about a science teacher getting cancer and worrying about leaving his family with massive medical debt when he dies yeah this is back to the thing i was just saying like our medical bills it's insane it's insane people go go broke just because they get sick and it is a very real problem here people can't afford their medical bills no one can there's not that was my washer there's not a single person <laughs> i don't think unless they're the rich rich people um that there's not a single per american that doesn't have a medical bill or medical bills and they're piling up and you're trying to pay them and you can't pay them because they're so so expensive it's ridiculous i remember once i had an ambulance ride from my house to the hospital years ago and uh when i saw the bill that just for the ambulance ride alone just the rush for them to pick me up and take me to the hospital i about fainted it even for an ambulance it's it's ridiculous that's why we can't afford anything ever <laughs> because our medical bills we're broke that and groceries doing the pledge of allegiance in the morning at school yes we did the Pledge of Allegiance every single morning at school. My kids did do the Pledge of Allegiance all their life. Skylar is the one that's still in school and they still do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I have been in their school once, uh, I think like a year or two ago in the morning. And I went into the office to like drop something off or something. Uh, and it was right at the time that they were doing the Pledge of Allegiance and they all just stopped doing what they were doing and everybody got up and faced the flag with their hand over their heart and did the pledge of allegiance um even the people that were in the room just waiting or whatever just everybody did it it's a very common thing um it's very robotic i nobody i don't know if many people really think hard about what they're saying it's just a very routine thing to do you know um and we all know it by heart so and I love our Pledge of Allegiance. Archaic, unhelpful standard units of measurement. Well, we think that's common because we don't use anything else, so. Portion sizes. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we think portion sizes are normal like this because that's what we get all the time when we go out to eat. Um, but there are some of us that look at those and we're like, that's absolutely ridiculous i'm one of those people i can never ever finish anything at a restaurant it's too much so i always take the rest home and i eat it the next day for lunch 
And that's what a lot of Americans do. It's not like we're all sitting there eating everything on our plates and that's why we're all fat. <laughs> it's just that, that that's what they serve us. And most of us get a box and take it home. And that is normal. They offer boxes. I know that in like maybe a, the UK, that's kind of a little weirder, you know, to, to ask for a box. Gun ownership. Yeah, it's, it's common. Uh, we like our guns. I don't want a gun though. My maternity leave was an unpaid six weeks and I had to fight them on not shorting me because I went past my due date and didn't keep working until the day I went into labor. I actually have a lot to say about this, but I'm, I don't have time in this video. But yeah, there are businesses that um, will pay for maternity leave. A lot of places do, uh, but the, the majority do not. Having only two parties, Republicans and Democrats. I know there are some smaller parties, but the system is stacked against them. It's just the way it is. Date order, month, day, year. Yeah, it's common for us because that's what we do. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I think it's very strange that you guys do, what, day, month, year? I think that makes no sense personally, but the reason we do month, day, year is because here when we're speaking, we say, oh, it's September 6th. It is May 25th. It is December 7th. You know what I mean? We don't say it's 7th December. So we don't write it that way, you know? We, we write it how we say it. Bankruptcy because you went to the ho hospital. Yup. Another one of these American flags everywhere. I traveled throughout Europe in the Caribbean, Caribbean, and I usually only saw their flag on government building or government builds, buildings in here and there. Whereas here in the USA, the flag is like Frank's Red Hot. We put that shit on everything. Frank's I don't know what Frank's Red Hot is. Magnets, churches, cars, condoms, every front porch and street lamp. Yeah. <laughs> Turning scientific information into a political discussion. Honestly, I can't comment on this one because I just, I don't watch, I don't watch the, the pol politics. Putting a ton of sugar in products like bread. Um, tastes good. Not putting the final price on the tag. I'm not sure whether it's still like this, but a few years ago, one never knew whether the dollar item in McDonald's or Burger King is actually a dollar or maybe a dollar eight. Yeah, um, there, there's reasons why we do it that way, and I'm not going to explain it all here. There's videos about it if you want to learn about it. Uh, but yes, it's the, the price on the tag is never the price. That's the price of the item itself. Uh, and then when you get to the register, um, you pay for the tax with it. Gratuitous violence in entertainment is normal, but show one boob and people lose their shit. Um, this must have been like a, a European that wrote this one, honestly, because I know that there are places in Europe where it's just so normal to like see tits and, um, it's not like looked at in a, in a strange way, but here in America, um, they show boobs and all of that stuff in movies, of course, but you're, you're not going to walk around topless in America. That's just not, men do. Um, but a man can't go into a store without a shirt on, you know, it's just to be more, I guess, respectful. I don't know. Just don't walk around naked. Nobody wants to see that anyway. American corporations have convinced us our work culture is totally normal. That's true. I'm sure. <laughs> I think that people are starting to wake up more now that with the internet and everything, um, when we lived in our own bubble in America, and I'm sure it was like that in all the other countries before the internet, when we lived in our own bubble, that's literally all you know, unless you fly to another country and see it for yourself. But now a lot of people are learning a lot of things because of the internet and seeing how other people live. 
and it is uh, waking them up more to that yeah certain things are kind of strange you know or whatever and we've been used to a certain way for a long time um and that reminds me i wanted to say uh connected to what i was saying before i started this video this video here is you know i learn a lot from the videos that i watch that i do reactions to and um i have been called dumb stupid and ignorant and yeah i mean everybody is ignorant to things that they don't know that's not a bad word um but to be called like dumb or whatever is is actually really stupid if you think about it because i'm doing these videos to learn things <laughs> so just saying paying people less than minimum wage how is it a minimum minimum if it's legal to pay less than that i agree i think that's really dumb we do not pay our uh waiters enough um although it's not as bad as it used to be and it's not as bad as people think waiters do get a wage an hourly wage i mean maybe not all restaurants but um it would be such a tiny few amount that don't do that but all restaurants will have like um an hourly wage that they're getting plus tips when you're 18 years old you can oh my ghost be shipped to a foreign country to kill humans but you're not allowed to drink alcohol this is true being able to vote before reaching the legal drinking age also true ambulance rides costing money seems pretty absurd to people from other countries i already talked about that yeah it's crazy asking everyone what do you do when you first meet them i live outside the u.s and realize there are some people i've known for years and i still don't know their job i think in the u.s jobs are a bigger part of a person's identity than in some other places i think that you're right um and not everybody asks what do you do you know uh but it is a common thing and it's not a rude question if we ask that it's it's not meant in a rude way we're just making conversation it's kind of like out another how are you you know it's like a conversation starter you know what i mean so it's not so much we're trying to pry it's more of a conversation starter not owning kettles and microwaving their water for coffee or tea um there are plenty of Americans who do own kettles actually uh I don't I do use the microwave but um there are a lot of Americans who have kettles as an American I was shocked to learn that not every school uh internationally has a building cop um cops being at schools are a, a sort of a newer thing my son has a cop at his school um but when I went to school in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have cops at our school. And no, not all the schools have cops. Shoes inside. Um, that's a person to person thing. Had some American colleagues in Norway asking us how we celebrate the 4th of July. That's like when uh, Americans ask foreigners, how do you celebrate Thanksgiving? <laughs> it's so stupid Th these are very much american only holidays and that person is dumb um and it would be equally dumb for someone to ask an american what do you how, what how do you celebrate boxing day because americans don't celebrate boxing day 99 if you ask 99 percent of americans what is boxing day They'll be like, what are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Toilet cubicles where people not only can peek, but an adult person could crawl into your cubicle. There is so much space under the door. Um, I actually made a short about uh, bathrooms in America once, if you want to find it on my channel. Um, not all bathrooms are the same. I'm going to say that. There are a lot of bathrooms and stores and restaurants that are completely closed in. No, no cracks or anything. Um, they do, well, I can't say all. Uh, most of them still have the, the bigger crack at the bottom and it's a safety thing, but, um, there are some that are completely closed in. So it's not everywhere the, maybe larger corporations have the larger cracks. I don't know why they do it, but there are plenty of places that, um, there is a lot more private privacy, but also Americans are so used to it that we aren't like disgusting enough to be peeking in on people 
and thinking about the cracks. We're not sitting there thinking about the cracks. We're going to the bathroom and we know that the other people waiting are not looking at us because that's weird and we're not trying to look at them either. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's really dumb. <laughs> Willingly put, putting yourself massively in debt for a college degree. I come from a place with free university education, good for you, which has its own drawbacks, of course. And the fact that you can make such a huge life altering decision at 17 is considered normal over there. That seems downright bizarre to me. Um, yeah, a lot of people will go to college at 17, 18 years later, not even doing that job anymore. There are people who go to college for four years, two years, six years, eight years, whatever. And uh, they don't pay off their school debt until they're in their 40s. Most of them in their 40s, they paid off. Um, it is it is really, really ridiculous. It's crazy how much it costs. But there are a lot of scholarships and thing grants and things you can get to help you with it. But yeah, it's it's expensive. The enabling customer service culture. It's created excessive por portions in restaurants. Uh, creating caring gives way to a disposable attitude towards products and generally gives a sense of entitlement where most people start adding it to their list of rights. I don't know if I really agree with this. Maybe there are some places that enable customers, but I would say a lot don't. I don't know. Actively avoiding healthcare visits, checkups, because if there's something wrong and you don't have the money to pay for treatment, then you'd rather just not know. Yep, very common. Because like I said, it's way too goddamn expensive to, to have even a cold. You just don't, you don't want anything wrong with you because you don't want to pay for the bills. And I, I can't tell you how many times I've probably needed to go to the ER for something. Hi ghost. Um, and I, chose not to go because I didn't I didn't have the money to pay for the bill that I was going to eventually get so um yeah we all do that to avoid bills okay this video ended up being uh, way longer than it should have been I did not know it was, this little 10 minute video was going to be so freaking long because I talk too much and those of you who watch my videos know this so I'm going to try to edit this down as much as I possibly can um because I did talk a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please, please, please be kind in the comments. There's no reason to be rude to anybody. Anybody in the comments, there's no reason to be rude to me. There's no reason to be rude to Americans or other cultures in general. I want, I just need everybody to be kind to each other. I think it's really ridiculous when people try to act like they're better than others and say, well, we do this and you don't do that. Like, it is, it, it is just the way it is, you know what I mean? So just please be kind in the comments. Um, but if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and I'll see you next time.